How to use Wix automations. Hey everyone, welcome. We hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you step by step how we can use automations on Wix. Basically, if you don't know what automations are, they're pretty much workflows. So you can actually have set, you know set up automations to do things for you automatically. For example, send out emails when uh, new subscribers subscribe to you or things like that. There's plenty that you can actually do with them. And we're going to discuss that in this video. Now, I need to note first before we even dive into automations uh, is that you can actually see Wix Studio on the top left, but this is not going to be for Wix Studio. This is going to be for the default Wix. Just keep that in mind because we're not going to be using Wix Studio. So basically, to get started, you just want to go ahead and go to Wix.com and sign into your website and click on um, Select Website. And then from there, you're going to open up the main dashboard for it, which is this right here. And then from here, you're going to basically scroll down to the bottom of this dashboard that you see. And you're going to find uh, above settings, you should find automations. So you basically just want to click on automations and this should open up the uh, section here for you for your workflows. Now in here, you're going to find all sorts of automations that you have actually set up. So created by you, you're going to find them all in here. And you can obviously track them and see the summary for each one of them, as you can see here by clicking on view summary. It's going to pretty much just give you all sorts of uh, analytics and activity uh, aspects to that. Uh, and then on top of that, you're also going to find installed for you. And this is going to be automations that are actually installed for you, depending on sort of, uh, some sort of apps actually install it for you, for example, and things like that. But you can feel free to uh, activate them or make them deactivate them basically if you want. And you should be able to also find them all in here as a list. But then we are not going to discuss about the things that we already have. If you want to create a new one, it's very simple. You basically just go to the same page, click on new automation on the top right. Okay, so once you click on new automations, basically you're going to find two different options in order to create automations. The first one is that you're going to find a lot, and I mean a lot of pre-built ones. Most likely than not, the automation that you actually want to create already exists in here. So you can feel free to search by name or you can just feel free to browse in here and see whether the automation that you want exists here or not. For example, if we go to the category sell more online, you're going to find templates related to that. For example, email visitors to recover abandoned carts, which is one of the more used templates out there or automations out there. Basically, if somebody adds something to their cart and they don't complete the purchase, it's actually going to go ahead and uh, encourage them by sending out an email and asking them uh, and you could say reminding them that they have some sort of items in their cart and they could uh, you know complete the purchase so same goes for engaging with clients and so on you're going to find templates relates to that get feedback from customers after the order is placed you can see order is placed then it's going to send out automatically an email uh, getting feedback from customers same goes for the rest of them. So let's just go ahead and let's say, for example, we find a template that we actually want to use. For example, let's just go to the this one right here, which is email visitors to recover abandoned carts. In this case, we want to just set up or click on setup, and this should create the automation for us, but we can also add more elements to it or actions to it. So uh, what's the actual automation is consisting of it's pretty much a trigger and then you also have the action trigger is pretty much the starting point of the actual automation so basically once the trigger happens then the action will follow automatically so the trigger is at this point checkout abandoned so meaning you are going to have someone who added items to their checkout uh, but then they just or cart sorry but then they just did not uh, check out and then you can actually go ahead and see the action is sending out an email. And obviously, you are going to have the ability to fully customize this to exactly what you want it to say. Now, you also have in between here, we have add step. So you can actually click on that and you're going to find three different options, not only action, but we also have three different options. First one is action, which is pretty much exactly what the other one is, much like sending out an email. For example, if you want to send multiple emails, for example, like uh, let's say I said, for example, a lot of times I know, but let's say you want to send multiple different reminders. Then in this case, you would want to add a delay 
uh, or let's say email and then delay and then another email, for example, after two or three days. So this is totally possible. Now, what you can add is action uh, delay, which is pretty much how, mu how much time before the next step occurs. And then there is also a condition. So if checkout abandoned is not uh, enough detailed for you, you can add a condition, for example. And then you are going to have this sort of condition and you can create two different roads here. So for example, if it's true, then it's going to uh, give this action. If it's false, then it's just going to end it without action. But obviously you can feel free to change every single element in here, uh, especially the actual um, condition, which is check if you're going to find product price is, uh, let's say above or below $10 and so on. Product image, checkouts, all of these things are conditions that you can set up to uh, make this work. But for the time being, let's just not uh, dive into this. I'm going to do the uh, dive into this more once we actually create it from scratch. But right now you're going to find yourself in this setup uh, and you can just click on this email and you're going to find once you click on the actual action, which is the send email, you're going to find all sorts of things. For example, uh, you're going to find I, I noticed that I say, for example, quite a lot. Anyways, you're going, you're going to find sender details here and the sender details obviously would want to click on edit and make sure that this is going to suit your um, actual sender information. So if you want to use a business email and so on, and once you click on save, this should be saved. And then you would want to actually create the email itself. So you're going to find create an email and you are going to click on edit. And this is going to uh, allow you to add more details here. So just click on save. And they're going to send you a confirmation code on your email in order to set this up. But you can actually see it in there. And again, I'm just going to dive into this more uh, once we create this from scratch. And you are going to also find more things like set email type and also the uh, set recipients, which is also going to be set up automatically for you, which are people who abandon the cards. Now, let's just go in and exit this because we don't really want to save this one. Let's say you don't find, uh, let's just delete this. So we go back to automations and let's say this, this time you don't actually click, sorry, you click on new automation and you don't find the template that you want to use. In this case, what do we do? We basically just go to the bottom of this list and click on start from scratch. This is going to allow you to set up your own trigger, your own actions, your own um, conditions, all sorts of things you can feel free to do from scratch with this method. So starting with the actual trigger itself. So click on select trigger. It's going to give you all sorts of triggers depending on the apps that you want to use it for. For example, if you want to go to Wix automations, you're going to have the uh, triggers to schedule time and so on. So you're going to find all of these options for uh, the um, scheduling part of things. But then we can also see all triggers here and you're going to find triggers for checkout and order. So if an order is placed is also a trigger, you can select that. Session booked, booking canceled, course updated, trick uh, tickets ordered, and you all you have all sorts of triggers that you can set up. Let me just go ahead and find one that is going to uh, the one that I'm going to use right now. We already did checkout abandoned. Let me see. Hold on. So, uh, for example, I went for blog post new comment. Basically, if someone comments on our blog post. It's pretty much just going to trigger. So it's, it's automatic for, for us. And you can also set it up so it is going to trigger once per person. Or if you leave it off, then it's going to skip that step. And it's just going to do it every single time someone comments. I'm just going to toggle this on just uh, so we can have this. And then you can also set more things to it. For example, comment author, contact ID. This is how it's actually going to uh, you know identify the actual commenter. And then you can also set it up so it is uh, going to trigger uh, in a specific time period. So every 24 hours and so on. But I'm just going to leave it as it is and click on apply, for example. I keep saying for example. And then we can just go ahead and add the next step. So once a new comment happens, we want to click on add a new step. And what do we want to happen? We want to click on delay, for example. I'm going to keep saying, for example, and we're, you're going to like it. So we are just going to do so. Let's say we want to wait for three 
Now let's just wait for uh, one hour. And after one hour, it's actually going to go ahead and set up the actual action. So the delay, I'm just going to set it up for one hour. But you can actually see you can set it up for one minute, one hour, one day, week, or even months if you want to. So I'm just going to click on apply. And now this step is good. Next, we want to click on add step and let's just add a condition. Now, here's the thing for conditions, each single trigger is going to have different conditions because obviously it's it's how it works because each trigger is going to work a little bit differently from the other one. Check uh, abandoned cards is different from new comments and so on. For the comments, we see if we click on tri uh, the actual conditions, we are going to find the post URL. Uh, if you want it to match with a specific URL, for example, or the comment author contact ID. So if you want it to match with also the same ID uh, or, you know, most likely than not, if it's a comment, you're not going to add any uh, condition unless, for example, if it's for a specific post. So then you can just set up this uh, condition and then you would want to obviously uh, select the actual post itself. So whether it's going to equals or doesn't equal you have all of these things that are available to you to use. But I'm just going to remove the condition because it doesn't really make sense to add one right now. And then I'm just going to click on add step and click on action. Now for the action, you're going to be able to add uh, an email, send a chat message. Uh, you have also more things like create a task so you can actually, you know, work further about it. So this could be for more uh, like orders that are specific or you want to have customized orders then you can create tasks for those automatically if you want but obviously for a better trigger for that and then you can also do more things like send a uh, webhook and more things like updating uh, google sheets and so on let's just stick with the email it's the easiest one for me right now uh, and obviously you're going to set it up exactly the same way you did last time but this time you can just click on edit and you are just going to click on add details. And this time I'm going to actually send the uh, or add the actual code. Let's just do that real quick. So once you actually confirm it is you, you are going to click on edit one more time. And now you have the ability to completely renew this and change every single element or even delete every, every single element and add a new one by just dragging and dropping it wherever you want it to be. So you can add a file here, for example, and use this image or upload your own. You can feel free to change the actual text by highlighting it and changing it. You also have the different background settings or themes and all sorts of stuff. So once you're happy with it, click on save and continue. And you should be able to find that you have the trigger now, the delay, the action, and pretty much the end, which is always going to be at the end. So if you're happy with it, you can just click on activate on the top right. And now it should actually be good to go. Now, just make sure you set up everything correctly with the email. I did not. I skipped many different steps for it. So this is why it's not going to work for me. But for you, it should be good to go. Uh, and this is pretty much how to set up automations on Wix. Hopefully this was an informative video for you and hopefully you found it to be helpful. And sorry for saying, for example, quite a lot. I'm not sure what just happened in this video, but thanks for watching.